UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, Ladies and gentlemen, here's Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon eve loving and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for live from the sold out madison square garden arena in new york city First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker right versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, big left hand there. Ooh, 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagements from this 50-50 position? When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with that big right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good punch, Lance. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. He always brings his hand right back to his face. Oh, he hurt badly the jab. All right, single collar tie now. Looping left hand misses the target. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Can't take many of those, you better check. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Lands with the right hand. Joy's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Nice jab. Falls up with a nice right hand. Again, back into this position. Got clipped with the right hand. Sound defensively blocks the shot. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful strike. And that one certainly found the target. Single collar tie here. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. <laughs> now he's got the Muay Thai club. Punches blocked. Oh, nice straight there by Choi. 
Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So the head strike starting to pile up. Big leg kick lands. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Straight right is there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip the head at a moment's notice. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? How good is that right hand? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, on, you are going to sleep. Nice one-two there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. What a punch. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. I don't that in. Again, in the clinch. Boy, Ty Plum. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big elbow there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Plus right hand is true. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big knee land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch lands over the top. Seconds here of round two. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. 
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, knee to the head. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, he'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Nice punch here. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Able to check that kick as well. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Punch over the top. Relax, relax. Your hands up for me now. The Korean Superboy gets tattooed by that straight punch. Beautiful head kick. Blocks the shot. Just over. Oh, he's got him here. Oh, he might be out. number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice strike. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's a big strike right there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Choi's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Back to the feet now. Nice shot to the body there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big knee to the body! Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, collar tie. 
Final seconds of round three. Choi's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. See, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting. Oh. He's got her here. Oh, he might be out. Slips the punch. Oh, single collar tie here. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than that is it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He got it. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And Gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.